The Iowa caucuses are now just hours away, and this will give us our first look at how voters feel about the race for the White House. NBC10 political reporter Matt Pritchard joining us live from the bitterly cold town of Avoca, Iowa, if you haven't heard of it. This is what it looks like. How are the final moments, Matt, shaping up? And I hope you are staying warm. One single word, and you sort of hit on it there, cold. It is cold here in Iowa. It's cold for us, the candidates, the voters, everyone that is going to take part later on tonight. We've got a lot to watch for, but take a listen to what voters told us about what they're expecting once they get inside their precinct. And our voters weighing their options. It's the last day before the caucus, so um, I'd like to hear a little bit more from him. I think this election uh, is going to be the one that we're going to talk about for a long time. Hours ticking away until they head for caucus precincts, ready to brave the elements. It is cold, but caucus supporters are a different breed. And for some, support wholeheartedly their candidate of choice. Um, supporting the governor. Um, I was an early supporter and been proud of supporting him since May. I think President uh, Trump did it one hell of a job for this country, and I can't believe people won't uh, see it. A GOP presidential hopefuls making their final pitch to voters. If you're giving your speech, speak from the heart. Speak about America. Speak about where we want to take our country. Trump is, is running for his issues. You know, Haley's just doing what the donors want. Uh, I'm running on your issues. Both Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis aiming to put a dent in former President Donald Trump's nearly 30-point lead. Now, analysts say Haley has more wiggle room. Even if she finishes third, she's got that ticket punched in New Hampshire with the coalition that she's building. Ron DeSantis needing a more substantial momentum boost. He has put so much focus on Iowa. If he doesn't get a second place finish, he will likely have to take a hard look at his campaign. And so doors at those precincts, they close at 7 p.m. Central Time. That'll be 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And, of course, that's everybody getting into a room and deciding who they want to support as the GOP nominee. We're hoping we'll have results to share with you a little bit later tonight at 11 o'clock. And uh, if you're playing along at home and you watched at 4, you saw we were in one location. Now at 5, we're at a different location. This is a big state. So to get back to Des Moines at 6, you'll see us in another location. So tune in for that, if nothing else. Guys, back to you. Uh, the travel's of one Matt Pritchard. Stay warm out there, Matt. We really appreciate it. Of course, after Iowa comes the first in the nation New Hampshire primary, and the candidates are wasting no time getting to the Granite State. Former President Donald Trump is expected to hold a campaign rally in Atkinson at 5 p.m. tomorrow. An hour later, Nikki Haley is going to hit the stage at a rally with New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu in Bretton Woods. Recent polls have shown Trump holding a strong lead among voters in the Granite State, with Haley in second. As you might be able to tell, this is going to be a busy week in politics, so we're ramping up our own political coverage. Beginning tonight, At Issue will be live to cover the biggest stories from the campaign trail. We'll have guests, live reports, and analysis ahead of the first in the nation New Hampshire primary, as well as tonight's Iowa caucuses. The show begins at 7.20 tonight, immediately following Voices on King, a documentary being run right here on NBC10 Boston. And as always, you can catch us every Sunday morning at 11.30, right after Meet the Press.